Are you tired all the time? Do you have burning and tingling in your nerves? Are your muscles tired? Is your heart weak? Then this is the video for you. It talks about a common mineral deficiency that you may be missing that'll really help you to get your life back. Are you constantly tired, wiped out? Maybe your muscles are fatigued. You have burning in your, in your nerves. You're having a skipped heartbeat and you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and you're just exhausted. Well, maybe it's just a mineral deficiency. And so this video, we're going to talk about the signs of a potassium deficiency, what to do about it, what foods to eat and how to test it. And just like many other things, too much of something is really bad and too little of something is really bad. So potassium is one of those amazing minerals that is really, really important for basically all of your health functions, your organ function, and it's really important that it's linked to salt. And matter of fact, some people that are on blood pressure medications and diuretics, they actually flush potassium and then they don't feel very well. But potassium is one of the minerals that are so important for health because every vitamin, every enzyme, every amino acid has to have a mineral component or it doesn't function. And so when people have really tired muscles, they have nerve tingling, they have a skipped heartbeat, they can't concentrate very well, they don't get rest, it's almost always related to a potassium deficiency. Now the easiest way to test for a potassium deficiency is a simple blood test. It's part of a metabolic panel, either a basic metabolic panel or a complete metabolic panel. It's almost always included in your annual physicals. And when the doctor just wants to get a good baseline, this is almost always included. Now a normal potassium level is somewhere between about 3.5 and 5.0 and optimal is about 4.2. Now the foods that have potassium in them are things like bananas, uh, beans, some dairy products, green leafy vegetables, and sometimes you'll need to supplement with potassium to get those levels up. And if you're eating any types of um, fast food, if you're eating potato chips and junk food, it's almost guaranteed that you're deficient in potassium because they're really, really salty and salt lowers potassium levels. It's flushed off and it causes all of these different healthcare conditions. Now I like to supplement with potassium because it's really, really simple. It's inexpensive. And for the most part, you don't have any side effects, problems with potassium. That being said, you want to make sure that your potassium levels don't get too high because that can cause some healthcare concerns as well. So anything over 5.0, we really want to make sure that you're not getting hyperkalemia, which means too much potassium in the body. Again, mineral balance is essential for health. It's more important than vitamins. And if you're dragging any of these conditions, I would encourage you to get a simple blood test with your doctor, and then we can increase the foods that you're eating to get your potassium levels up, or we can supplement with a little bit of potassium, but it really is an amazing mineral. If you're eating junk food, or if you're eating out of boxes or bags, the problem that you might have is just a simple mineral deficiency. And when I talk about a simple mineral deficiency, minerals are more important than vitamins because every vitamin Every amino acid, every enzyme, basically every organ process in the body requires a mineral to make it work. And one of the most common mineral deficiencies that we see in in the practice is a potassium deficiency. Every cell in your body needs potassium to function and especially the nervous system because we have what's called sodium potassium channel gates where we get an impulse to the nerve and the channel gates will open and then they'll close and then they'll reset. And those are dependent on on sodium and potassium. And if you are someone that really likes chips and boxes and bags and eating out, there's so much salt in those foods, it has a tendency to deplete the potassium levels and it makes it so your nerves will tingle, you'll get a little bit of neuropathy, your muscles don't work very well. And if we supplement with some potassium or eat potassium foods, it really helps tremendously with muscle dysfunction and nerve dysfunction. If your muscles feel like you're having cramps in Charlie horses, what happens is again, the potassium levels inside the cells are so important to make the muscle function right. And also any abdominal bloating or contractions or constipation may be associated with a potassium deficiency because potassium is essential for smooth muscle function in your body. Now, smooth muscle is a little bit different than skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle is actually controlled by conscious thought. I tell my mind to move my arm 
or to extend my arm or to move my fingers. We're under control of that. Smooth muscle contractions are stuff that happens through your GI system and some of your lung tissues and some other things that we don't even have to think about it and they happen involuntarily. Potassium is a critical mineral for that to occur. Low potassium can also give you a heart fluttering or not enough power in your heart. And this happens all the time when people are lying down or they're sitting for extended periods of time and they get up quickly and they feel a little bit lightheaded or faint. It means that there's really not enough power in the heart to keep up with its demand. And so it has a tendency to either skip a beat and go faster, or it just doesn't have enough power to get the blood supply up to your head. And so you have that blackout feeling. A news flash: if your sewer system doesn't work, you don't work. And so if you're not able to process the foods that are going through your GI system, if you're going to the bathroom and nothing is coming out, you have slow bowels or constipation, I've seen potassium help a lot of people to make their bowels regular and consistent. And when your sewer system is working well, you work well. If you're having any of these problems, such as a, a weak heart, feeling like you're gonna faint or pass out when you stand up, if you're having constipation, muscle cramps, Charlie horses, any of those concerns, and you want to determine if potassium is a problem, there's a really easy way to evaluate that. And that is a potassium blood test. Now it's almost always included in a basic metabolic panel or a complete metabolic panel when you do an annual physical or you do your yearly blood tests. And the range typically is from 3.5 to 5.0 and optimal potassium levels are at 4.2. So you do a simple blood test, you evaluate what the potassium levels are. And if you're low in potassium, things like bananas and nuts and seeds and green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, and then of course my favorite vegetable, which is broccoli because it has almost everything in it, will help your potassium levels to go up. Now, if you're eating those foods already and you have low potassium, you might want to supplement with a little bit of a potassium, but just like blood sugar, if blood sugar is too high, it causes problems. If blood sugar is too low, it causes problems. It's the same with potassium. If you have too much potassium, bad things will happen. If you have too little potassium, bad things will happen. So you want to be in the right range. Hey, thanks for watching our video on potassium deficiency, how it can help nerves, how it can help muscles, and how it can help your heart. If you got value, please like us and check the bell right next to the like button. It'll tell you all about the next video coming out and we'll see you on the next video.